Here I will show you how to take your file from a squeeze and drop it into your Avid timeline. I have already imported the file into squeeze. Now I just need to select one of the MXF presets. I'll select this one. Now if you need to modify this preset, this is how you do it. Double click it and you go under here, under the main setting. You want to ignore these settings for now. What you need is right here in the main setting. And if you click this right here, you'll find a drop-down window with all your options and various combinations of frame size, frame rate, and data rate. Once you find what you need, click OK, and then click Squeeze It. The completed file is here on my desktop. It should have the name of the file and the name of the extension, which is default to squeeze, or whatever you may have changed the default to as far as the naming scheme. Now the important thing is that we rename it to any number. The number is fairly arbitrary. Of course, you can give it a different number for your own organizational purposes. From here, we want to go to the C drive, and we will find the Avid Media Files bin and the MXF folder inside. And all you need to do is take that folder that Squeeze created and drop it in there. Now I'm going to maximize Avid and go to Tools and Media Tool. You'll have the Media Tool display and this is all correct. We're looking at the C drive and this is my project I already had open which is what I want. So I'll hit OK and now the media tool will populate with the files that are inside that MXF folder in that directory I just showed you. This is the file that I want right here. So I simply take it and I drag it and drop it into my bin. And there you have it. At this point we completely bypassed any importing or re-encoding the file. Our file is ready to edit and drop into our sequence.